the Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Basson from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basson's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. I'm game. This is actually one of the most unique heists in the game in the series. Alright, first things first, you are gonna need the alarm clock. This is the mission that you need it for. Luckily, I came prepared. So I bought it ahead of time and I guess I might as well show it off. Well, not here, but well, first let's go to Bentley. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bisson. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. All right. Oh god, that was bad. Get as close to the center as you can. I'm kind of doing pretty bad, actually, but I think I should be good. I don't know how many you need in order to qualify, but... Not bad, Hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Oh, I did well. Nice. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. This is honestly kind of a hard heist, I'm not gonna lie. Especially because, I don't know which one's the hardest, honestly, but with this, you have to constantly kind of wait to see where the eagle is and then move, like, far off to the side. This should work. Wow, that was close. I don't know why you can't jump. Because Sly was able to jump, no problem. That would be so nice, but no. At least he let me use the hover pack. I'm going to cut it kind of close here, admittedly. Probably the hardest part, but I've made it. Perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Something's not right. He, those guards gave him a ten when they meant to give him a zero. 
Hey, why'd you go for that, Sly? This might be the easiest one, admittedly. Come on, grab it. You're also gonna really want to watch it because of those. Really, Sly? If that screws me over, I swear. <laughs> That's about what I expect from a raccoon. What? I did! I don't know what's going on with the circle prompts. I mean, as I said before, many times, as you just saw there, circle prompts in this game are full of shit. I don't know what happened. I doubt this is something that's only in the PS3 version. I'm pretty sure this is something that originates from the PS2 version as well. I don't know for certain, but at least I made it. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Murray, use those grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. Interrupted, but this is probably the hardest one. Jamison is really quick, and the hitbox, as you can see, is retardedly small, so he's a big target, but. No, I can't believe I actually got that, but. It's just so dumb how long it can take. I just see how quick he is, and at least I got him there. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. I wonder if I can use the jetpack, actually. I don't think so. Oh, I guess not. The other thing with that part is... Is the, it took a long time for the hook to come back. Really long, especially for that last portion. Whoa! Yeah, he got me there. Really? Also, I have no idea about Bentley's equation for this. I really don't. Whoa. Although it actually looks like Sly could have pulled the whole heist on his own, and oh my god! How'd I not die? Ah! How am I managing? You're one lucky turtle. I'll give you that. Watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Besson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Alright, I think you don't just need the alarm clock, you can use, like, anything else. Like, maybe... Music box. But I don't think that actually does work. I don't know. This can be kind of annoying. Especially because, you know, you're gonna need... Um, plenty of... Of thief meter to do this. Hey, come- Oh, good. I honestly think Murray could do this mission a lot better. It seems that, like, you know, he could just grab the guards easily. 
you know, you get to their attention and then you just grab the Murray. That should work. This is actually going pretty well. This is the easiest part. I've got plenty of time too. What the? Why aren't you going for that? I hired? It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? That didn't even hit Bentley. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh, who, where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges, I should have figured a puny turtle like you would find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command! I hear ya. Prepare yourself, Bissad! On guard! Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Oh, oh boy. Lever I should pull. Oh, um, I don't remember how it goes. Yep. I... Yeah, I guess I can't remember now. This is the, probably one of the Fire. funnest missions and uh, boss fights. It's really easy to go in. You can just like, kind of run around, Flames, get your preferred, done, and Flames. get your preferred, um, I guess weapon of choice. Let him go. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this garment. I really do like this. This is actually a very unique Flames. boss fight, and I did that totally wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Welcome. Fuck! <laughs> they can also hurt you, keep that in mind. Ooh, coins! 10-4. You can basically get into a very easy combo with the 
Um, with the saws, actually, as you can see here. And of course I miss. Blaze, blaze. Logs. Saw blades. There you go. Logs, logs. Oh, I did that wrong. I keep getting controls mixed up. Dynamite turtle. This is admittedly really easy, but it's really unique and fun. I like it. Logs. Ten four. Saw blades. Whoa! How'd I don't get hit there. That's a nice rhyme there, oh god! Yep. Zaz? Gah! On, boys. Let's get to killing. Oh god, I'm low on health. Let him go! Okay. Oh my I can fuck. Hook him! Bam! Oh half cube! Blood drop! Done. Oh my god, that was so that was very ballsy on my part. That's a fitting way for him to end. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Broad. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Looks like we're not done here. Yeah, we just got the one blimp's on its way. Run! Thank God I got adrenaline burst. I don't care about the damn enemies. Great heist! It was problematic, but not bad. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there, sobbing, while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Well, that's pretty grim. Just about as grim as the ending of episode 3. Wow. I mean, we came out on top, but at what cost? that, I believe we are done here. Next time on Sly 2, Band of Thieves, we are going to start on the final episode, Anatomy for Disaster. Who knows what will happen next? Will Clockwork come back to life? Will we have to defeat him once again? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.